Well, Caroline, welcome to The Nursing Show. Thank you so much for having me. This is such a pleasure. Well, this is, this is fun. I love finding nurses that are leading things out on the web in different ways and, and helping advance the nursing profession. And, you know, when I discovered what you were doing through Twitter and YouTube and everything, I just really wanted to connect with you. And I'm so glad you were making some time to come on the show and chat with the Nursing Show audience for a little while. Yeah, I, I'm just, just honored to be here, really. So I have a lot of fun doing what I'm doing and just sharing it in this, this way is just even more fun. So thank you again for having me. So let's start off by um, telling people a little bit about why you wanted to become a nurse and um, your, your path through school, you know, where, where, how you went to school, were you in a BSN or an ADN program, that kind of thing, and, and how you started off in, in, in your initial career. Sure. Um, I started off um, want, wanting to be a nurse because I just liked people. It was simple as that. And um, at the time, I was a waitress, and I kind of was like, well, I love the fast pace of being a waitress, I love the service aspect of it, I love making people feel better, and I was like, well, maybe just being a nurse is kind of like being a waitress, only I'll be giving drugs, kind of, <laughs> in a way, and I'll be doing it in maybe a little bit more respected way, and I always, you know, kind of knew I wanted to go to college, so I was like, well, let me just try. Now, had I known how hard nursing was, I probably would have thought a little bit harder and longer about it. Because for me to graduate nursing school and to even get accepted to nursing school was, was really a miracle. Like I, I prior to um, doing nursing school, had no experience in school, literally. Like I was actually told by my eighth grade um, the, the counselor that they thought I was learning disabled. And yeah, and, <laughs> and I was actually held back in eighth grade. And in high school, there was not one summer that I had a free summer. I had to go to summer school every year. So it's like being academically, like, you know, successful was not in my scope of practice. So I just had no idea. Like, even when I started to go back to college, I had to take remedial classes, like, to get myself up to the college level. So what I learned was that I had to study a different way. I had to physically engage my body. I had to, you know, stay in like I called it like my bubble and I just had to like put you know quotes all over the place that said that you know I can believe in myself I can do it and um, anyways I ended up starting nursing school with a 3.7 GPA and then I graduated also with honors so um, it's it was really just you know like I said it was just a miracle to me that I was able to, to do that so that's, that's amazing because I, I think that just the, the, the correlation you put, you put in the beginning about um, waitressing and nursing um, as two service type jobs. Um, you know, one, 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 maybe and some nurses might be offended by that, but I don't think so. I think that it actually is one that I've never heard before, but actually makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, that's amazing that you said that. And that's, I ask nurses this question every time I interview them, and you're the first person to say that you know, your waitressing background gave you, an, you know, the impetus to say, I, I might want to become a nurse. And, and then the story of all that you persevered through to get, to, to get into nursing school and get through nursing school, kudos. I, that's amazing. <laughs> what's, even more like, what's even more funny was um, when I started college, after I took my remedial classes, I um, sat down with my counselor and I was kind of whining to him. Um, I was like, you know, all, all the anatomy physiology one classes are full. Um, you know, I can't take a class this semester. And I should have known something was up, but he looked for one second and he was like, no, no, I found a class Monday, Wednesday, Friday from two to, you know, whatever. And I was, he was like, do you want me to sign you up? And I was like, yes, of course. Like, I was so excited. And then, um, when I was about a week before class, I was planning my, um, you know, my schedule, and then I looked, and my heart like literally skipped a beat. And he signed me up for anatomy physiology too. Uh. So I was like, "What do I do? Do I go and tell him?" Obviously, you know, I'm not confident enough to take this class, so they'll just take me out, and I have to waste an entire semester. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of challenges in college, and you know. Anyways, I ended up doing really well the first, it didn't start out well, but uh, eventually it did, it, you know, worked out, and um, just using my study techniques, you know, it, 
Yes. That's how I started doing these shows, really. Um, I started you know, back when I was start le learning to be a paramedic. Was I, I learned very well by repeating things to myself out loud. And I thought, like, well, maybe somebody else would be interested in some of the things I'm learning myself and, and keeping my knowledge fresh when I was going through my refresher training and, and things like that as a paramedic and then in, into nursing school. So I started these shows because I was already kind of doing this kind of thing where I was talking about things I was learning and things that I thought were interesting and studies and research and things. Um, and it's interesting that you found similar experiences and ways to share what you do. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I, I get a lot of joy out of sharing things that worked with me with future nursing students and, and now new nurses. And actually, I get a lot of emails from, from nurses that have been nurses for a really long time that may have just kind of, you know, lost their passion. Um, from it. So I, I get a lot of joy out of it. So how did you start off in nurse, after nursing school? Did you go right into med surge, or, or what was your career path like to where you are today? Yeah, I did. I really had no idea. Like, I knew a lot of um, classmates that said, I went and work in the NICU, or I went to work with pediatrics. And I knew that I kind of wanted to work with adults, but I really like adults that can talk back to me. So I was like, well, maybe ICU isn't really for me. And I didn't really know exactly where. So I was like, let me just try med surge. You know, who knows? So I ended up starting on a um, telemed surge floor, and it was at a small hospital that was really close to me. It was called Central Carolina Hospital, and um, just fell in love with it. And, you know, I, I really didn't know if I was going to like nursing as much as I did, but I just ended up really loving it. And it was just like that whole service mentality and just, you know, really just making people's days. It just I lived for that. So... Yeah, I just started a med surge. It was a tele med surge floor. So worked there for two years. Um, I probably would still be there today if my husband didn't steal me away, but <laughs> but that's okay. I, I like South Florida now, so <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you're working as a PRN nurse? Yes, I work um for DM, yes. Yeah, great. Um so so Let's um let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the things you're doing online. Um, you've got your YouTube channel, em Empower RN, um, yep. <laughs> which is amazing. Your little videos about different things uh, that that you're excited about, about tips for nursing. Uh, what what spurred you to go in and start doing that? Well, um, I I really wanted to connect with people. I really felt like I had a lot to offer future nursing students. Um, was my initial inspiration to start it. And um, I, I really did not like social media. Um, it, it was hard for me to understand them. Like Twitter, I still have kind of a hard time connecting with people on it. Um, but then when I saw YouTube, I was like, wow, that's really cool. And, um, you know, just to make a video and it's kind of like a presentation and I could just share some tips and maybe, you know, maybe people will like it, maybe not. And, um, you know, just one thing led to another and... You know, I, I put up some videos, and it was scary. It was really, really scary. You know, the first video you put up, you're like, hi, everybody, and you're like, you don't know if anybody's there. And um, so just just kind of pushing myself to keep going and just, you know, listening to myself and really feeling like it was the right thing. And um, just one, you know, one step leads to another step. And then I started to get a lot of emails from people, and people started subscribing, and people started, you know, saying, hey, can you do a video about this? Or, hey, can you do a video about that? So... You know, just now I do a lot of video requests. Actually, most of my videos are video requests, and um, which helps me stay up to date as to what's going on with nursing students or new nurses. And, you know, just, I just have a lot of fun doing it. I spend probably two to three hours every day answering emails um, and responding to, uh, to uh, comments. And, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's, I wouldn't have it any, any other way. I mean, you know, sometimes when I'm at work, I'm, you know, on my, not on my cell phone, because I wouldn't, <laughs> but, you know, when you're at work, like, you just, you know, browse through your emails, and, you know, some of the emails that I get, I'm like, how did I get this life? Like, this is just, it's priceless to me, so, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I'm just having a lot of fun, so, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I feel the same way. I'm so, 
I'm so grateful for the people that a watch take the time to watch and listen to my show and 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 then that they get something out of it and and some, and, and are positive and, and they send me great comments and suggestions for future episodes and things like that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, it, it's very gratifying and um, uplifting to know that you're making an impact and helping people um, do better at their job and because they're better nurses or better nursing students, there are better patient outcomes happening because of it. Exactly. And that's, that's, really, that's really my whole goal is just to um, inspire nursing students and nurses to go after their dreams, to do their best, to really push themselves um, to be better and um, to also um, avoid things that are going to make them not be the best person that they can be. Because there's a lot of that, I feel like. So there's a lot of, um, there is a lot of negativity, I feel like, in the nursing mm-hmm. profession, and um, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, but, you know, we have a choice every day as to whether we want to engage in positive things that are happening or negative things. And so my goal is just to inspire people to focus on the positive, because there's a lot of it. Now you have, you have two books. Um, the first book, uh, it was about um, helping nursing students get through nursing school. But the book I'm most interested and intrigued about is the book you wrote that is aimed at the new graduate nurse, yeah. helping them to ha- get the most success and, and enjoyment out of their first job. Yes. Actually, it's funny because the first, the, I, I think as a writer, the first book that you write, your hand is just shaking. I mean, obviously we're typing, but your hand is just shaking. You don't really know if your ideas are valuable to anybody else. And, um, you know, the first book took me like almost three years to complete because I, I have about almost 50 different people in the book because I didn't really trust my own voice. You know, right. I, didn't, I really just had no idea if my ideas and concepts were going to be, you know, valuable to anybody. And so what's really special about the second book was, you know, I was like, okay, I know what I, I say matters to some people, not everybody, but to some people it really matters. And I'm just going to really trust and just let it all out. You know, like I really want people to know that the way they feel as a new nurse is completely normal because I walked in not knowing anything and just being completely nervous. Like I think I talked about the first medication that I gave in the book. But, I mean, I know I do. Um, and um, it was Tylenol. And my preceptor was like, you can give this. And I was like, I don't know. She's like, do it. You know, like she has like literally forced me to do it. And it was Tylenol. And I just kept, I was just so nervous about everything. And I just want people to know like their nerves are normal. Like you will get, you will get over it. It'll get better. Like, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a job that gets better with time. And it gets so much better with time because like, you know, I remember it took about eight months. Like at the eight month mark, I remember specifically walking down the hallway and just saying to myself, okay, like, it's a lot better now. You know, like, I, I have confidence to know when I need to ask for help, which thankfully in a hospital setting is always there. And um, I have confidence to know, you know, I, I can look at a patient and know if I need to be worried or not. And to me, that was just, it, it really was a revelation to me. So, and yeah, so there's just a lot of love in this book, and I hope that people can feel that. Well, we're going to have links to both books in the show notes for this episode. I'll make sure I get them out there so they can pick them up. Um, They're available on Amazon. Um, They can look up. It's Caroline Porter Thomas, correct? Yes. yes, (laughs) So they can look you up by your name and uh, find those books directly that way, or they can go ahead and go to nursingshow.com in the show notes for this episode and follow up on those links. And, of course, you you know, check out the YouTube channel. Um, It's Empower. And then the R in Empower is RN. So it's Empower RN all together. If people ever have a video request, um, you know, just let me know. That's pretty much what I do. I'm thinking maybe um, next year to have a little bit more organized, um, maybe like, maybe do more videos and do, you know, Monday this, Tuesday that, or something like that. But um, it's really based all on video requests. So the more requests I get in, the, the more tailored to everybody's needs it can be well i'll give you a video request um you maybe um find some find some other nurse podcasts and shows like this out there and and um 
um, you know, pick, give a list of your top five favorites or something like that. That's always a great list, a uh, great thing to see. And, and I always like to use that as a way for me to find new content, whether it's your top favorite nursing blogs or nursing sites or... Um, there's, there's so many of them. Yeah, I would love to see something like that because I always love to know what other nurses are using and finding out there on the web. Cool. All right. I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Caroline, I want to thank you. It's, it's a Saturday. I don't want to take too much time away from your day. And thank you for coming on the nursing show and uh, doing this interview. It, it's great to chat with you. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for watching.